Welcome to another video from Robotic Mower Services. Today we're going to show you how to disassemble your 300 series auto mower to be able to replace the battery in it. We have a 315X here and it will be the same process if you have a 315X, a 315 or a 310 auto mower to get in there to replace the battery. The battery we're going to be replacing on this one is the older style, it is the wrap style battery not the new plastic encased battery, but it's gonna be pretty much the same procedure as far as getting in there to the battery and replacing it no matter which style you have. So we're gonna go ahead here and first thing we gotta do is flip this thing up and disconnect the cable underneath for the charging plates. And if you have a 315X like this, the headlight wires are also part of the uh, wiring harness coming down from these charging plates. So you have one grommet there on the bottom. We pop that out and unplug it and then we're ready to remove this cover. So here we go, we're gonna start with that part. Okay, like I said, the first thing you gotta do is underneath the mower here, you have to remove the grommet right there. I'm gonna turn this on the side so you can see a little better. You have to remove the grommet where your wires go into your lower chassis and you just take your thumb and push against that and you can pull that out of there. Doesn't take much. Pull that out and you have all your wires right here there's the plug for your charging plates the bigger plug and then the smaller wires going into the, the red and blue wires here inside the mower those are for your headlights so you just push down on the back of those the back of the uh, locking tab there on the connectors and there you go they're free you want to make sure you leave these wires hanging out of here so that when you put it back together you don't have them trapped up inside there and you can't plug them back in. Now, put those wires free, and then you're simply going to hold down on the center part of your mower here in the top cover. Uh, being that it's a 300 series, you have a joystick here, here, and here, but this snaps down over. So we'll start back here and we'll lift it up off of these two. Just hold down on it and give it a good tug, then come to the front and hold down on it and you might have to reach in under on this one because of its because it went to pivot because there's only one joystick here and that's it just doesn't snap right off of there if you've seen our other videos where um, we we're talking about the all-wheel drive mowers having the problems with the, the collision error and uh, we showed you the, the rubber they call them rubber snap lock caps um, they're just grommets that there's joysticks latch into to hold this in place so it can float on there and activate those joysticks if there's any kind of uh, collision or an error. So got that out of the way. Next thing we got to do is since we're splitting this apart got to remove the uh, height adjustment knob here and that just lifts right up off of there. It's got an index on it so you can only put it back on one way so you don't have to worry about that. You have to remove your warranty label over here because you're going to split this whole thing apart. So that's got to come off. And now we have to take we have to take all of these screws out around the uh, the outside of the the chassis. And there's one here and another one in here. But the screws here for your your joysticks, if you can see that right there, those stay in there. You don't take those out. They fasten the joystick to this upper chassis, and you don't need to take them out. They can come right apart with that with that upper chassis. So the screws here, where these notches are, and all the ones around that split the chassis in half. T20 Torx bit screwdriver for that. And we recommend, as always, that you do it by hand rather than using power equipment and taking a chance of just yanking those threads right out of there with the screw because, as we always tell you, these are steel screws here and they are just threaded into plastic. So too much torque and you're bringing all that plastic with you. All right, that's all of our screws out that hold the upper chassis to the lower chassis. Now we're gonna spin this around here because 
and you go to pull it apart, if you've never seen this before, when you lift up on this, there's a ribbon cable back here that connects the um, HMI board, you know, your display here, the board that that's on, to your main board, which is right here in the back of the mower. So we're going to lift up on this, and here you can see that ribbon cable. You want to just push down on the ears on either side, push them out so that snaps up out of there. And there you go, that's disconnected. This can be lifted right up off of there. That's all you got to do to pull that off of there. Set that to the side. And now our battery is right down underneath here. There's a, um, there's a, a bracket here uh, that holds the battery down in place. And it also clips your, your wires in here for some of your components to keep them from just flopping loose all over the place. So to get that out of there, you have one screw in here and one screw over there. All right, so we're going to remove our battery here from this 315X. Again, it's this black wrap battery down here. Plugs into the main board, so we're going to unplug that right here. And on this style battery, we have the one here we're going to put in there. You can see that the wiring harness is part of the battery. It's all attached. It's all one unit. Now, on the new style, which I mentioned, the black um, encased battery, which is this one right here, this one has the plastic tabs on it that it's going to latch down in there with as well, but the wiring is not part of the battery. There's a separate harness that goes between the battery and the main board. So when you buy a new battery, this is what you're going to get. That harness piece would be separate. So to remove the battery, again, we got one screw here down in this hole on uh, the bracket here that clamps the battery down. That screws out of there. There. All right, that's completely loose. Now you need to get your wires out of the way here. Um, you have some over here that latch into these tabs. This is the one for your headlights and your, your charging plates. So just squeeze these open. There's also the wire, the ribbon cable in there for your loop sensor. Get them out of the way. Push the one for your wheel motor back here. And then the one for your cutting motor right here in the center. Just kind of wiggle those wires up out of there. It's going to give you a little bit more room and a little bit more flexibility. And it's going to make everything easier to do this if you get everything out of the way. And you just want to gently wiggle them out of there in between the little, little clips that hold them into place. So you've done that, now you can just move this out of the way. You can just hold it out of the way there, you can fish the whole way out if you want, but your battery is completely free. And that's it right there. Then put the new one in, same process, but just in reverse. Gonna wiggle that new battery down in under there, make sure it's sitting in, the, in place. Fish your wires up through. So your plug is up here by the main board. Plug your battery into the main board. If your battery is sitting there, wiggle it around a little bit, make sure it's sitting down there in place. You're gonna hold all your wires out of the way to get your uh, clamping bracket back down into where it should be. There we go. Now you'll notice on, this is a 315X, notice here how these, these tabs on this bracket that hold the battery in place, they also hold these weights in place. This is to give the mower a little bit better traction. The 315X has these here. The, um, the 310 and 315 do not. They have, they have a weight underneath the battery on those to um, help give a little bit of added traction. So that's something there if you want to add more traction to your 310. Add another weight in there. Take the one out from underneath the battery and put the two of them in here like this. And if you wanted to add a little bit more weight to your 315X to give it a little bit more traction, you could also go with uh, another battery, or I mean another weight down in there under your battery possibly, like they have on the, uh, on the 310s. So just something to keep in mind while you go this far. If you have that problem, now would be a good time to throw those weights in there. So we got all our wires out of the way. We got our screws down in here. We're gonna get everything lined up, turn them counterclockwise so you feel them pop into place. 
and then go ahead and put the first one in there get it started don't tighten it down the whole way then get the second one started then tighten it down the whole way that way you're not jamming anything up or cross threading anything or getting it out of line you're sure that's going to seat in there properly so there we go good to go with that part we'll fish our wires back down in through the little clips here that hold them in place and just gently wiggle them down in through there one at a time there are cutting motor wires they're in place the ones for the wheel motor they just they're loose under here the ones for the battery as well over here on this side we have the red and blue wires for the for the headlights we have the gray ribbon cable for our front loop sensor we're gonna wiggle all them down in there and over here on this side you don't have anything there that one's just open the uh, wheel motor here yeah if you really wanted to you can put that over there but it doesn't have to be that can just hang right there uh nice and free out of the, the way of anything else so that's it new batteries in you're going to replace the rope seal around here as we showed you in another video and then you're ready to put your top chassis down on here and fasten everything back together okay we put our new rope seal in there we're sitting our upper chassis on here plug in our ribbon oh, plug in our ribbon cable and you can tell it's alive and ready to run so everything is set down into place and now we'll start putting our screws in to seal everything up and we're going to start here in the middle and work our way out we're going to get all these screws started we're not going to go twerking any of them down the whole way we want to make sure everything gets lined up nice and even that we don't have any of our holes off just a little bit when uh, we're tightening up this chassis because if you have something off just a little bit tweak just a little bit you end up cross threading one of the screws in there and ruin the thread so we'll go ahead and get these all started and then come back through and tighten them down all right we got all of our screws started here for our, our chassis halves to seal them back up so now we're just going to go through and we're going to snug them all up again we recommend you use a screwdriver or some kind of hand tool don't use a power tool for this because you're not going to know how tight you're making anything and you could very easily strip these screws out you could over tighten this on the seal and have it tighten unevenly and then have lots of moisture getting in there and if you don't understand what that does check out our video about the uh, corroded main board and you can see firsthand what happens when moisture gets inside the mower now that's a it's a big cause of a lot of issues when you get moisture in there around these circuit boards it doesn't take long to ruin them now you might be wondering why did we start in the middle and then go out and then back this way then back this way then back this way um you know there's there's no actual torque sequence in the uh in the workshop manual for these automillers but for us it just seemed to make more sense you know you got two plastic pieces it's out in the sun you know everything gets kind of warped and twisted you take that apart you start tightening up in the middle and work your way out you're going to slowly spread that whole thing out where if you start out here and you start tightening everything down you get to the middle and if it's all warped up and everything you might get a spot here in the middle where it doesn't seal properly so you start in the middle and just kind of flatten it out that way you're going to have a better uh, percentage or better odds of it uh, sealing up properly. So that's why we do it that way. Since there's nothing listed in the manual, we can't really say there's a right way or a wrong way. And it's really just a matter of opinion at this point. So we got everything snug down here. Next thing is we're going to put our knob back on there. Like I said, that's indexed, so it can only go on one, 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 one way. Snap that down on there. Now our top cover you want to sit that on there Oops. make sure you get your your wires here out the front sit that down on there in the right spot and make sure you have it lined up with your your three joysticks the two in the back and the one in the front you can look it up under the the wheel wells here and see and make sure those are lined up and you can just kind of feel around up in there if you need to but um you're going you're gonna to be able to tell. It's going to be pretty even the whole way around here. So you have everything lined up. Just give it a good push down. 
in each of those spots and it'll snap into place and you can pick it up and wiggle it there you go you know everything's locked in and secure if it's not you got to start it up you're gonna get some kind of a collision or lifted error right away and it's not gonna let the mower run so uh, that'll be one of the first things you have to check if you just had this cover off here that the mower top cover is not seated down on one of the joysticks properly after that's all in there and in place last step is to connect your wires two different plugs or two different sizes I should say um, just plug them in push the wires back up in there and then you want to make sure that you get your grommet properly seated back in there and this is a really important part you want to make sure that it seats properly the whole way around you don't want it to just be kind of wonky in there and pushed in part way on one side not on the other you want to make sure it's seated in evenly the whole way around this circle here we have another video there where we show you the um, corrosion on the main board where we show you the proper way to get these in there and make sure that they're they're gonna sit in there uh, in the groove and seal everything up the way they should so that's it for installing a new battery in your 300 series automower as we said you got two different style batteries now the new 315x's um, I believe it was 2020 and later they're using these and the older ones are using these your 310's and 315's had these in them both of these batteries we have available on our website www.roboticmotorservices.com we also have batteries on there for the 400 series the 500 series the all-wheel drives the 115h's because they take this same battery so if you're looking for a new battery for your automower check out our website www.roboticmowerservices.com make sure when you order your your new battery for your mower that you also get a new rope seal for in there to seal up the two chassis halves when you put them back together and like I said if you're struggling to get some traction you might want to think about adding another weight or repositioning the weights you have in your your 300 series auto mower we have them available as well um, you know do everything all at once that way you can save yourself some time and hassle but that's it um, Again, if you need any parts for your automowers, www.roboticmowerservices.com. If you don't see what you're looking for on the website, send us an email to roboticmowerservices at gmail.com, and we'll try to get you fixed up. As always, we appreciate your support. We thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to this channel.